Now that we know how to compile basic wasm with, with the accompanying javascript loading, let's explore the mscript and compiler a bit further and see how to customize and optimize wasm compilation. You will recall from the previous lesson to generate wasm and matching script and javascript code, we had to specify the output file as being type js. But mscripten also allows us to compile with some boilerplate html as well. I'll change this log message testing with mscripten html. Then in the terminal again compiling demo.c as well as we can output to public slash demo.html. So simply changing the output files extension mscripten will recognize this and compile a full page that loads the newly compiled wasm that's done and back in the project we can see that new demo.html open this file which contains a bunch of embedded css and html elements we will see in the second most importantly right at the bottom of this the demo.js is already being loaded we can test this navigate to demo.html which provide this testing page with a canvas element as that very common use for WebAssembly and even a console window with that same log message we are seeing here in the DevTools console. Not something we will be using in this course but very useful for quick WebAssembly development. So now we know how to generate a wasm then with a accompanying loading mscript and each html playground page also with accompanying wasm and loading script but let's say we want to use mscript and generate a wasm with no extra like we did this before with wasm fiddle just you need to do is head over to terminal change.html to dot wasm file that you are done if you want you can also use as a side module just pass a option side module equals to true or you can say one but yeah you need to write one though that's done i'll clear the terminal for simplicity purpose let's change back the command which we are using earlier that is demo.js if we check the public directory in a human readable format we find out that demo.js is 92 kilobytes and demo.wasm is 41 kilobytes which are huge which are directly impact our loading speed of browser let's see how to auto optimize this files same compilation command again adding a new flag of capital o with the level of optimization being one two or three i'll make mine to throw enter check those new file sizes demo.js is 21 kilobytes and demo.wasm is 11 kilobytes this might not seems like a lot of initially but it's a very significant improvement client side we also have a further option of using the very popular javascript closer compiler by adding a flag closer but if you recall from the installation this required java to be installed so i will just leave this for now the last but not least mscripten allow us to prepend or append our own additional javascript to the generated script in the javascript file i'll create a new javascript file in a public directory and call this ready.js worth nothing more than a local message of demo.js is ready run some task here compile back to demo.js but now to append ready.js to the end of demo.js yes set the post.js flag to that new javascript file ready.js that's done Restart the server, head back to the browser and reload. We get the loud message in the console as expected. So to prepend, just change the post to pray and that's done. In the next tutorial, we will see how to export and learn function from our WebAssembly module. So see you guys then.